you do not need to go get a cheap perfume put it on you go out you're just gonna be causing commotion in people's nostrils and people's lungs cheap perfumes have toxic smells Come on. hey friends welcome to my channel it's been quite a while um but i'm back this is your girl Lushka and today i'll be giving you 10 tips on how to look expensive while on the budget without having to break the bank <laughs> expensive look you know but ego deal there is no money you know but that's not it's not a problem because there's so many ways you can carry yourself looking expensive looking delectable prime and proper while still on the budget and today I will be letting you know how that can be achieved so first of all I would give you tip number one. Black is definitely a color that is timeless and classic. You all know that. I'm sure that so many people know that black is that one color you can never go wrong with. You can match any kind of outfits in fact you can wear anything with black black is one color that when you wear it it will keep people guessing no one knows oh is it cheap is it expensive oh that black dress you're wearing how much did you get it get black and the fabric is not that expensive it's of low quality you can still rock it you can still rock that little black inexpensive dress and have head stunning like damn girl you look good okay so black is the one color that you should add to your wardrobe if you want to be in that pretty expensive fit, okay okay so number two neutral colors neutral colors when I'm talking about neutral colors, I mean black, like I mentioned earlier, white, brown, beige, nudes, older nudes, gray, those are neutral colors. And neutral colors are colors that you also cannot go wrong with. Neutral colors are colors that you can rock and still look expensive. They are colors that are also known as earth tones. And our subconscious tends to see anyone with neutral colors or, or see any neutral colored outfit as expensive. Maybe it's because um, most designers tend to gravitate towards neutral colors when they are making their clothes. So if you are going for, um, if you are going to, um, if you're going to go get an expensive outfit. It is best if you gravitate towards um, the neutral colored ones, especially if you're going shopping and you don't really have that much money and you're going to, go, you're going to get lower, um, lower quality fabrics. Instead of getting a pink, um, instead of getting a pink shirt that will look obviously cheap, get a nude or black one or white one. Whereas you wouldn't, it wouldn't look as cheap as getting a bright pink or bright green um, t-shirt or or blouse. If you know what I mean, make it till you make it. And um, number three, tip number three, I'm gonna give it to you right now. Pretty sure that it is no news that once you dress up, wear your outfit, and you're about to sleep, 
and then your other pair of sunglasses it automatically changes your entire look girl even if you're not wearing makeup once you put on those sunglasses everyone is like yes ma how you doing ma how may i help you ma the ma automatically gets added to the end of your name <laughs> okay sunglasses will always uplift your look it will always give you that classy expensive look it doesn't really like it it is man like sunglasses is life-changing so the one thing that you should add to your accessories or your wardrobe if you want to look expensive is a pair of sunglasses my dear even if you have to invest in one good sunglass do that it will always change your look it will swap your look around and make you look good and make you look you know expensive like a ma okay so tip number four still on the neutrals because the neutrals are always <sighs> the neutrals are always um the way to go if you're on a budget neutrals man neutrals so yes neutral shoes i mean if you're going to go if you're going to the shop and you want to get a pair of shoes i always do this especially when i don't have money i will go to the shop and i'll look for the black or the white or i i don't even really go for white shoes that much i'll always go for black or nude colored shoes or brown colored shoes because those are shoes that you could wear three four times to a particular occasion and nobody would even notice that you're wearing that you know three four times and it doesn't select outfits that much it, it doesn't even select outfits you can wear a black shoe or black sandal or a black slipper and wear it with a pink shirt and you can you can just keep going wherever you want to go okay but whereas you wear a, a green shoe or you go buy a green shoe come on and you don't have money that shoe is something that you can wear for maybe three four occasions let's say let me use the office for example you wear a green shoe to work today and you wear it tomorrow and you wear it the next day the day after obviously <laughs> it's obvious that you are repeating that shoe you're wearing it over and over and over again but if you wear a black shoe or brown shoe two three four times Nobody's really, it's not going to register in anybody's head that that's what you've been wearing for some reason because those colors are classy and timeless and they go with everything and they look less cheap. Okay? Thank you. <laughs> um, I'm just spitting knowledge. Let's go to tip number five. safety and the safety of people around you I don't know how to stress this skip cheap perfumes look girl you're better off just slapping the roll on here slapping the roll on here or spraying with your hair spraying with your hair and hair and go out of the house and you're smelling okay trust me you would smell okay you do not need to go get a cheap perfume put it on you go out you're just gonna be causing commotion in people's nose strips and people's lungs cheap perfumes have toxic smells come on just you better off just going with the deodorant and the roll-on or the body mist if you don't have the money to get an expensive perfume but if you must if you must get a perfume then get perfume testers, get perfume oils, 
get perfume samples there are magazines that you open some magazines and you would actually see um perfume samples from all, sorry from high-end designers who are trying to advertise their products in those magazines you would actually get samples of those um of those perfumes or you could actually there are actually people who sell perfume oils and perfume testers okay or um, used perfumes you could use those those are less expensive and you will get the quality the quality of a good perfume if you use them without having to break the back so please skip those cheap perfumes ain't nobody wanting to smell them ain't nobody wanting to be around you when you you know wearing those cheap perfumes besides you can do the moment you walk in into a place especially a, a, a gathering the moment they smell your perfume it is obvious that it's cheap so don't do that if you can't even get those um, perfume testers just spray your deodorant and go okay okay darling and now we're going to tip number six yes i say this all the time timeless wardrobe pieces <sighs> this is one thing that i know that i do a lot if you're going to shop for your clothes and you have the need to buy what's in season knowing fully well that your pocket can't keep up don't i'm not saying that you shouldn't buy um what's in season but that's something that you can do sparingly do not always go shopping and go for what's in season because by the time the season is over then you have to buy you you would have a need to buy the next um outfits in season no go for timeless pieces go for pieces that you know that are always in season always in time always in the period <laughs> do you understand go for something that you know that if you wear it you can twerk it here twerk it there and look like a fashion goddess do not go for something that's happening right now that's trending right now knowing fully well that if you buy it um, you won't be able to keep up the next time no just go for something timeless something that you can wear and wear and wear and also twerk okay that is going to cut your cost and that will always make you look classy okay classy and expensive <laughs> so now yeah tip number seven don't slouch yes Stand straight, chin up, shoulders high, tummy tucked in. Don't slouch, people. Don't slouch. <laughs> Just if you're standing, stand up straight. If you're sitting, sit up straight. Don't slouch. Not only is it unappealing to look at, it is unappealing to see someone slouch. Slouch. It is also not good for your spine and your posture. I'm sure so many people do this, okay? Don't slouch. Always carry yourself with pride. Carry yourself with dignity. Always put your neck straight and your back straight. And is it eight? <laughs> I, I don't remember the word. But yeah, I know what I'm talking about. Okay. Okay. Tip number eight. Yes, your friends don't always have to know where you went to buy your clothes from. <laughs> yes, thrifting, okrika, as my Nigerians would call it. Thrifting will always give you quality clothing. You can get designer clothing from thrifting. You would get high quality fabrics just by thrifting. I'm pretty sure that. I'm pretty sure that some of us who thrift have noticed thrifting has allowed many of us on the budget to get H&M's, Zara, Atmosphere, Boohoo. You can thrift and find them. And then when you're thrifting, 
make sure you're looking for fabrics that you know can last fabrics that are not low quality uh, I sh I'm sure you know what I mean so while thrifting thrift for these brands that you know might have high quality fabrics thrifting is the way if you are broke and you cannot go online to start searching to start getting like a 10,000 naira coat or uh, you know you know what I mean you know how expensive clothes could get but yeah thrifting thrift get second hand clothes get high quality second hand clothes of the first grade and add them to your wardrobe come out looking expensive and chic Make it till you make it <laughs> okay so number nine don't buy bras that are <laughs> that are bigger or smaller than your actual bra size no that is a no-no I don't even know how or why people do this if you're going to buy a bra buy a well-fitted bra whatever it is that you're wearing your bra would always reflect so if you wear bras that are not your size it will always make that are not your size it will always make uh make how you look bulky unflattering just make sure that your bras are on point whenever you're buying your bras make sure it is your size and make sure that whenever you're wearing it you are making it fit what i mean making it fit because um it could you know the um the strap of the bra make sure it's also well fitted on you so that it could carry your boobs high <laughs> Sure you know what I mean. I don't have to explain much, <laughs> but yeah, make sure you get well fitted bras. That is key. The final, the final, the final tip number 10. Your hair, your nails, have your nails and your hair neat all the time. If you are if you are the kind of person who goes who does pedicures a lot then always pedicure your nails always make sure that your nails are looking neat and pedicured if you um, if you do not have money to get pedicures often and whenever you're not getting a pedicure make sure that your nails are clean even if you're not cutting your nails make sure that they are clean and well filed or if you're cutting your nails and cut it just make sure that your nails look clean at all times it doesn't have to always be pedicure but it should always be neat and clean and as for your hair always make sure your hair is on point all the time please it is important for your hair to always look on point all the time if you're not trying to look ratchet please do not keep your nails ratchet and your hair ratchet if you do that you automatically look ratchet okay um there are other tips there are, there are many other tips but i couldn't put them all in this video maybe i might do a part two i don't know because even as i was talking some other tips were just coming into my head but i said 10 tips so i have to stop here anyway thank you for watching i hope this video was helpful and if you have anything to say if you have any suggestions if you do follow some of these rules normally please make sure to write it down in the comment section below and if you like this video please give it a thumbs up and if you haven't yet subscribed to my channel please subscribe to my channel that will be doing your girl a lot of good thank you so much for watching i'll see you in my next video bye peace